Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I hope every, you're having a great day and everything's going your way. We got a great show for you today. One, I'm going to give you a little weight loss update after 13 weeks. I'm going to give you a little update on my weight loss and tell you how much I've lost. And then also, I'm going to review a product that uh, people are very interested in lately. And uh, whether you're on a low carb diet or even a keto diet, people are interested in this item. And I, want, I just wanted to share it with you. And we're gonna also make some uh, make something for you today with it. Hey, let's get into it. Okay, if you're new to this channel, what I like to do is I like to review different products. And basically, lately I've been doing a lot of keto or low carb food items that I've been reviewing. And today it's going to be one of those items again for food that I'm going to review for you. Uh, the other day I released a video about my new glasses I bought. If you hadn't seen that one, you can, I'm sorry, the link will be over here if you want to see that on these reader glasses that I got. Uh, but, uh, you know, losing weight is not always easy. And in January I decided to change my life and uh, change my lifestyle of eating and I'm happy to report after 13 weeks of being on a basically a keto diet or what I call a dirty keto low carb diet, I've lost a whopping 49 pounds. Um, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. I think most people would. I think that averages out to around 3.8 some pounds per week if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not uh, a math whiz in my head, but I'm guessing it's around 3.8 pounds per week. Um, and I'll take that. That's that's very good, and uh, I'm really happy about that. So things are going well. I'm going to continue to do that, and I'm just going to kind of show you some of the products that I use along the way. Um, down below, I've got a link to like all the products that I've bought to help me lose weight um, on this journey, and there's just a few of the products, not all of them, but uh, you might want to check out that list, see if there's anything on there that you might benefit from. Uh, I'll put that link below for that. Um, but I want to get into a product today and uh, tell you a little bit about it. I did a video previously, not too long ago, on some zero-carb tortillas. And I'll put the link for that up here as well for that, uh, if you want to check that out. But I've got a different one for you today, a different brand. And uh, I want to get into that and show you what I can do with it. We're also going to make some uh, tortilla chips today. Okay guys, we're going to talk about Guerrero Zero Net Carb Chipotle Tortillas. This is a new item that has come out and as you can see, they've they've called it keto certified. Now, I know people are going to argue what's what's keto, what's not. I'll just I'm not here to argue what's what. I'm just kind of here to present the tortilla shell uh, show you the nutritional facts and then you know, you make a decision if it's something that you want to use or not. I will definitely uh, give those to you. So um, why don't I go through some of the nutritional facts for you. Um, one tortilla is 25 calories and the total fat is 1.5 grams. The saturated fat is 0.5 grams. The trans fat is zero grams. Cholesterol, zero milligrams. Uh, sodium is 135 milligrams. The total carbohydrates is seven grams. So if you're just following straight um, diet that follows just carbohydrates, it's got seven grams in it. There's also dietary fiber of seven grams, total zero sugars, um, and protein is two grams. Now, as you can see on the package, they're saying the net carbs is zero. So what they're doing is they're taking their seven grams of carbs and they're minusing out the fiber, which is seven grams to give you uh, zero net carbs. Now, some people follow a net carb diet and that's fine. I tend to do that a little bit, but I also look at the carbohydrates because I don't want those to get too high. And I know there's a lot of people that stu still do just a traditional carb diet, so they don't count net carbs and that's okay because everybody does their diet differently. So, um, but this is chipotle flavored and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some tortilla chips and show you how to do that with these. And then we'll give them a try and see if they're any good or not. All right, let's get into it. Okay, now there's many ways that people make these, but this is kind of how I make them. I know a lot of times people use an air fryer. We're going to stick uh, this in the oven today. 
and uh, we'll just get started with the shells, or I'm sorry, the tortillas here, and uh, just start with one. That's kind of what they look like. They got that nice orange chipotle uh, color to them, and what I like to do, now some people will brush butter on them. I like to use just a spray of olive oil on each side. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. We'll go ahead and put some on that side, do some on that side. Another thing I like to do um, is put some sea salt on there. A lot of that comes off, but that's okay. Make up. Most people like some kind of salt on their chips. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here, guys. So then we have our chips. And we're gonna put this in the oven here. I've got it preheated to 375 degrees and we'll throw it in the oven and see how long it takes. Okay guys, I ended up cooking these chips in the microwave, I'm sorry, the oven. I ended up cooking these chips in the oven at 375 for eight minutes and they are done. And they seem to be crispy. I'll just kinda, as you can see, they kinda break apart there. I went ahead and I'm gonna use this Chi Chi's mild salsa. Um, I actually did a product review on this some time ago, but I'll, I will put the link in the video. So if you wanna see what that's like, uh, it's really good. I have not had it for a while. And two tablespoons, there is two uh, carbs in that. So keep that in mind. But we'll give this a try here and see how it tastes. It has some crunch to it. I'll grab another one. Not bad, guys. As you can see, they look like real tortilla chips, so... They uh, taste very similar. To me, you can still taste like it's a uh, soft tortilla a little bit, but uh, at the same time, it does have a little crunch to it and it does make a chip. Nice substitute for the regular nacho chips, um, definitely. I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, just finished trying these uh, Guerrero Zero Net Carb Chipotle tortillas. Like it says, it says they're, they're calling it keto certified. It does have seven grams of carbs. If you're following just a strict carb diet, if you're looking at net carbs, it has zero because they take away the seven grams of fiber. Overall, these are, uh, I think they're a decent tortilla. Uh, to me, they're a little bit dry, but um, you know, for a chip, that's fine. If you're gonna make chips with them, make sure you have some kind of dipping sauce, whether it be you dip, put it in a cheese dip, or you use a salsa, I think that really helps. The other thing is, you know, when I put salt on there, use whatever seasoning you like on your chips. I think that's that's also a, a good thing to do. Uh, that way you can get some more flavor because, you know, tortillas in general tend to be a little bit bland. So, you know, anytime you can add some flavor, I think that's a good thing. Uh, a couple more things I was gonna tell, tell you on this. It is high fiber. So, you know, if you're trying to add some fiber to your diet, these would be good. Um, it's high fiber and zero grams of sugar and it is only 25 calories. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, I did a review on the mission, uh, zero carb ones. And I like those pretty well. I like these equally as well. I can't remember what I rated the other ones, but I'm going to give these an eight today. I would probably buy these again, um, between the, the different brands. This one is a little bit cheaper than the mission. So if I remember right, these were 340 something at Walmart, so not too bad. Um, you know, if you're on a strict keto diet, these are probably not for you, uh, just because you're looking at just the carbs. Um, if you're on a dirty keto or a low carb diet, I think you'd be very interested in these. Um, you can not only make chips with these, but I like to use these as pizza crusts. Um, that makes some nice mini pizzas. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. That's one of our favorites. A taco, you can make taco pizza with these. They're very good that way too. 
Pepperoni pizza is good. Um, you know, you can use these as a substitute for bread on a sandwich. You can toast these. There's lots of different options you, if you, you know, enjoy these and want to add these to your diet. I definitely, uh, like I said, I recommend these. Um, I definitely give them a thumbs up. You know, if you like the content on my show, I would give you a big thumbs up if you would. And also hit that subscribe button. And uh, that would be great. It'd help me out on my channel. And I'll bring you more different food products, whether it be low carb, keto, dirty keto. Um, definitely bring you more foods that I'm eating and kind of show you what they are so you can make a decision on if it's something you want to purchase or not. Hey, thanks for watching today. We'll see you again soon, my friends. Take care. God bless. Bye.